there are a lot of amazing matte lippies in the drugstore available but so many sometimes you don't know what to choose well here are some of my favorite nude matte lippies that could be your options this can range from really light and fair to really dark and deep skin tones if you're wondering what I have on my eyes, I have the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette on my eyes mixed with some My Little Pony action and I do have a video on this eye look and I will be linking it down below. Let me just get on with the lipstick swatches. So I hope this helps you in some way. I'm sorry for the noise outside because I live by a street and you know how that happens. You know how that works. So let me just get into the swatches. Hey everyone, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick and Bury It All. This is a, an oldie but a goodie. This was one of Kathleen Light's favorite lipsticks and I discovered this because of her. Um, the a Wet n Wild line has around 27 shades and they're very, very affordable. They're like $2.49 and I really like this lipstick. It's not super matte but it's also not like super, it's, like, it's kind of like a satin. And the packaging is horrible but the, the formula is great. This is the Milani color statement in uh, matte lipsticks. Um, I only have one and the color is Naked. I love this lipstick. It's a little bit cool toned, um, but they, if they smell amazing. They have gorgeous packaging and they're around $6 and they have around 27, and sorry, 24 shades. Um, and they smell like vanilla. Maybelline Color Sensational Mattes are one of my favorites, if not my favorite lipsticks from the drugstore. Um, this one is a new nuance. They're very creamy but very matte, they're very pigmented, and they range from really, really pale to really, really dark. My favorite is Daringly Nude, which I think is my lips, uh, my lips but better shade. This is my perfect um, nudie, nude shade. And they're around $7.49, but they're always on sale, so I suggest getting them on sale. They have so many colors to choose from, and I just really, really like the formula. They're not so drying at all, and yeah, one of my favorites. This next one is Clay Crush. I also discovered this from Kathleen Lights. Daringly Nude I discovered from Tati, which is one of her favorites. With Clay Crush, it's a little bit more warm and this is great for like my eye look right now. It's really cute and pretty and it's super pigmented. Um, I love this shade and I just love the formula. L'Oreal Color Riche, this is in matte, uh, the matte formula in Rose Fondue. I believe they have so many different other formulas. A rose fondue is a little bit more cool tone. It's a little bit more pink, and it's great with like neutral eye looks. We're going in with the liquid lipsticks now, so these are going to be harder to take off. But for you guys, let's just do it. This is the NYX Liquid Suede's. Um, they're the most comfy matte lippy from the from NYX, I think, um, and they're really pigmented. They're comfortable on the lips, but they're not transfer proof. They have a lot of colorful shades, and I love I love the applicator. Um, I like to mix it in with soft spoken. So Sandstorm and soft spoken give me that perfect nude shade, um, and I just really like this formula. It's very comfortable, not drying at all. Unlike their lingeries, which I will be talking about in a second, and I highly suggest you try them if you don't really mind the tr not the not being transfer proof. My camera is about to die. I need to invest in another battery ASAP. I actually did this video yesterday. I did everything. I swatched everything, I wore everything, I erased everything, and when I reviewed the footage, blurry. So, imagine the heartbreak. The next one is probably my favorite formula from the drugstore. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. I have it in Rebel Rose, and uh, in a moment you'll see uh, Milkalicious. This is my favorite formula so far. The packaging reminds me of the Jeffree Star um, liquid uh, lipsticks. Um, they are amazing. They have metallic formulas as well, but I really, really like this formula. They have really good, a really, really good applicator. They have um, a lot of different shades, and I hope they come up with more because I really like this formula. They're very comfortable, they're not drying, they last really nice, and they're around $4.99. This one is the Sleek Matte Me birth in the shade Birthday Suit, with it, which is also one of the you know, OG um, liquid lipsticks. 
this was such a huge, huge hit um, back in the day, back in the day. And uh, this is a very nice, like, corally, um, peachy color. And I absolutely love this. I also have one in Shabby Chic, which is very cool tone, very mauve-y. And I love this color um, with, not with this eye look, but with, like, cool toned eye looks. And I like to mix and match birthday suit with Shabby Chic. And with the next color I'll be talking about, which is part of their new line, they came up with some new colors. Um, so the only thing I don't like about this is sometimes it gets a little sticky when it doesn't like, you know, in the center of your if your lips. So if you don't like that, you might not like this formula. Cinnamon Spice is part of their new line. I only have this, um, this one color. I do like mixing it in with Shabby Chic if I want Shabby Chic to be a little bit more of a warm um, tone. And I also like mixing this in with other lip lippies like um, birthday suit. This is the Jordana Sweet Creams, one of the most affordable um, lip creams as well. Very, very nice and almost moussey. They smell delicious. And I believe this is a dupe for the Kylie uh, liquid, lips, liquid Lipstick in Coco K. So why buy Kylie's if you have this one? <laughs> I'm kidding. So the next one is probably my favorite. Of all time, this is the NYX lingeries in the color Push Up. This is my my uh, this is my OG lip. This is my favorite lipstick, liquid lipstick in the drugstore right now. It's my my it's like a my lips but better shade, and I absolutely love this color. The formula is great as well. It's just a little bit more drying than um, others out there. This color in Teddy, I believe the col the darker colors perform better than the lighter colors, but this is a very grungy look on me. I'm pretty sure it will look really nice and nude on deeper skin tones. I highly suggest you try checking them out. They are a little bit more drying, but they do last longer, and um, they're just so beautiful. They have so many different nude shades. I This is not exactly, you know, it's not exactly a drugstore product, but... I, they're very affordable and I said I think that you know you should get one um, try one this is the ultra satin lips in point zero this is a Kathleen lights color pop collab very very cool tone ultra satins do transfer but they're more comfortable than the next thing I'm gonna show you this is the ultra matte the ultra mattes are more are comfortable as well but they are more drying uh, significantly more drying than the ultra satins but this color is uh, in chi or she is really really nice um very warm but i really really like this i keep saying really really <laughs> my lips are dead they're bleeding and please hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe down below let us support each other you know what i'm saying please comment down below as well what you like to see next or any comment suggestions of anything what are your favorite products from the drugstore i hope to see you in my next video my name is sahar bye